Tinubu certificate forgery case. Atiku will be angry as BBC claims Tinubu. Can you imagine? So this is how they want to put the narrative that Atiku and Obi are angry. Not only Atiku and Obi are angry. Now you whole Nigerians are actually angry with BBC clearing Tinubu. And uh, we came to understand that even the BBC that spoke is not BBC UK. It's actually BBC Africa. And uh, <laughs> Only God knows if they did due diligence and all of that, and they don't understand their interest in this because from all indications, all the depositions and all that we're having in the public space right now about Tinubu from his primary to secondary school and to where he is right now, everything is still shrouded in secrecy. It's still shrouded in secrecy. Nigerians know what we know, and so... BBC's publication is inconsequential to so many Nigerians. That is it. But let's dive into the detail and see what this writer is trying to say. BBC says documents confirm President Tinubu CSU diploma. Uh, okay. Uh, BBC says documents confirm President's CSU diploma. APC Capes Can you imagine? But PDP Labour Party tackled Tinubu says certificate issue tarnishing nation's uh, image, and that is actually where most Nigerians are resting their case. The camps of the People Democratic Party PDP, uh, Standard Bearer Tiko Abubakar, and the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi have protested the BBC report that there is no evidence to back diploma forgery allegation against President Bola Tinubu. BBC's Global Disinformation Team had uh, in a fact-checking report published on Wednesday said that there was no evidence that Tinubu for the Chicago State University uh, certificate. He submitted that he submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to contest the February presidential election. The BBC report concluded that the allegation that Tinubu submitted the fourth CSU certificate to the INEC was false. Can you imagine? The global disinformation team explained that it fact-checked the most widely circulated claims to arrive at its uh, conclusion. The let a report now. Mm -hmm. The allegation of certificate forgery leveled against Tinubu has been ruling the polity with his opponents, um, with his opponents in the last election Atiku and uh, Obi taking the ex legal state governor to task over the issue. Hmm. Reports that the ex Lagos state governor's certificate was faked went viral on social media following the release of his CSU academic records. The release of the president's academic records is the culmination of a judicial case filed in August by former Vice President Kwamubaka, who is seeking to overturn Tinubu's electoral victory at the Supreme Court. Atiku had accused Tinubu of falsifying the CSU diploma. Uh, of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration awarded in 1979 that he submitted it to the electoral body. In a move to strengthen his election petition appeal filed at the Appes Court, the PDP standard bearer asked an Illinois Chicago court to compel the CSU to release the president's academic record, including a copy of any diploma issued by CSU in 1979. A copy of the diploma the CSU gave to Tinubu in 1979. Copies of diplomas with the same font sealed signatures and wording awarded to other students that are similar to what CSU awarded to him in 1979. He also demanded documents from the CSU that were certified by Jama Orr, who was then a staff member of the CSU. Atiku's application was opposed by Tinubu's lawyers, citing privacy concerns, but the U.S. court decided it would proceed and the school subsequently released the academic records. In line with the court ruling, Atiku's lawyer, Angela Liu, questioned the CSU registrar, Kale Westberg, in a deposition. The report said some social media users in Nigeria, the report read, okay, some social Media users in Nigeria allege that the deposition and the diplomas released by CSU confirmed that diplomas submitted to INEC by Mr. Tinubu was false. This claim was also repeated 
by one of Mr. Bubaka's lawyers, Carlo Carlo, at a press conference last week. We found there was no evidence to support this claim. Many social media users in Nigeria have been sharing false or misleading posts about the deposition of Caleb Westbridge, the current CSU registrar. Hmm. The CSU released several diplomas issued between 1979 and 2003. We analyzed all of them, and there were three different diplomas from Mr. Tinubu that we refer to through our analysis. And the original one from 1979, which he has said in the past was lost when he went into exile in 1990s. The second one that he submitted to INEC, supposedly a replacement diploma from CSU. It is similar to diplomas issued by CSU in 1990s. Additionally, CSU holds another replacement diploma from Mr. Tinubu that they said is probably from the early 2000s that he never collected. Now, the allegations on social media are based on a comparison between the document Mr. Tinubu submitted to INEC and the 1979 diplomas released by CSU. During Westbrook's deposition, the BBC noted that Articus lawyers focused on the copy of the diploma Tinubu handed to the Electoral Commission and suggested that it was unlike any of the other diplomas released by the CSU. However, while Mr. Westberg agreed with Ms. Liu that the diploma in question does not look like the samples from 1979, he stated that the certificate actually looks like three of the diploma CSU released to Mr. Bubaka. Our analysis confirmed this. Hmm. Oh, boy. So what is uh, all of this happening now? So the, the BBC now is trying to stand their ground to say that they have confirmed it and, uh, and that there is no forgery associated with Tinubu's uh, certificate. And they are saying Obi and Atiku are angry about that. I think, do you think it's only Obi and Atiku that are angry? Atiku's AD alleged that BBC investigation um, was carried out with a predetermined goal to clear Tinubu Shaibu called on the BBC and other fact checkers to be more circumspect, adding that their job was too sensitive to entertain errors. The media AD who advised media organizations to invest more in investigative journalism noted that if the BBC had invested in proper investigative journalism, it would have been the one uncovering some of Tinubu's scandals instead of relying on articles for information on Tinubu's certificate. Shaibu in another statement lambasted the president for holding just one cabinet meeting since taking office in 135 days ago. He described it as ironic that Tinubu, who has the largest cabinet in Nigeria history, had decided not to meet with them. <laughs> that was a serious one. No? Hmm? So he challenged the Mr. President to put the uh, information in the public. Okay. The PDP National Police Secretary, Debo Ologunagba, could not be reached for comment on Wednesday, but party's Deputy National Youth Leader, Timothy Osadolo, insisted that Tinubu CSU certificate presented to INEC was not genuine. That is it. Now, <laughs> uh, wow. The leadership of the Labour Party said they were not moved by the report of the British media outfit, which it hinted was damaged control to change the certificate saga narrative. Now, the national legal advisor of the party, Kende Edu, okay, told one of our correspondents that regardless of what anyone may say, the president must take responsibility for the mess he's putting the country through. He noted that the BBC are entitled to their opinion. As far as we are concerned, this issue has become so messy and too dirty. In fact, in this circumstance, we even sympathize with Tinubu because he put himself in too many problems by not coming out clean about so many things. That is it. <laughs> so both uh, Labour Party and uh, PDP spokespersons have come out to condemn whatever um, BBC has done and said it's not uh, investigative, investigative enough. So some Nigerians are already commenting on this action as uh, somebody saying Nigerian politicians are very bad with the exception of Dr. Goodlaw Jonathan who is an angel among them. You lost election, go home and re-strategize. 
The Bible says a man can receive nothing except it be given him from above. By advice, my advice is go home and give yourself peace. Don't be bad loser. Ashwajo has been giving you has been giving you worrying for nothing. Hmm, I've been given. You are worrying for nothing. Once again, God bless Dr. Goodluck Jonathan. He's the best politician in Nigeria. Can you imagine what this guy is saying? So if you're angry, go and kick bucket or who transformer. Okay. Um and allow Nigeria have people we don't need distractions. Let's fix the economy. Hmm? So the way it is now, Nigeria is in one chance. And people are already supporting it. So let's get ready to eat the breakfast, lunch, and dinner as it is being served by APC. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment.